So there was a little bit of rumbling last week and at the beginning of this week that Bernie Sanders was considering the possibility of dropping out. But thankfully, it appears that that's not going to be the case because the New York Times released an article where according to his campaign, his closest confidants, he's going to stay in the race, he's going to compete, and if there is in fact another debate in April, he's going to show up and he's going to fight for the nomination. And I think that that really is important because this is an unprecedented time. Before this crisis happened, the nomination was an entirely different race. And now that it happened and we're kind of all experiencing this together, we need to hear different ideas. We need to hear different approaches. So I think it is important that Bernie Sanders stays in, allow the rest of the country to make their voices heard. And, you know, there's some logistics to figure out. How do we institute vote by mail in time for these primaries? Will they be postponed? There's a lot to figure out. But Bernie should stay in. And if you haven't seen it, check out my video. I will provide you with some reasons in that video as to why I think he should stay in. But um, Joe Biden was asked whether or not he'd be willing to debate Bernie Sanders. And quite frankly, he says no. Secondly, Bernie Sanders uh, campaign has said that he would debate if there was a debate in April. Do you think there should be another debate in April? And would you participate? My focus is just dealing with this crisis right now. I haven't thought about any more debates. I think we've had enough debates. I think we should get on with this. But uh, um... so he's focusing on coronavirus. What exactly are you doing? Because you went MIA for almost a week after winning three states on March 17th. And now you're too busy to participate in a two hour debate, three maximum, but most likely two hour debate. Like, what are you doing? You're not doing shit, Joe Biden. You're not doing shit. And he knows damn well that in the events he debates Bernie Sanders, that is, you know, going to be another possibility for him to face plant potentially look like a fool and lose momentum. Now, if you look at public opinion polls, there hasn't been much lately, but national polling suggests that Joe Biden is starting to lose momentum. Bernie is starting to gain momentum. Now, the problem is that the rate to which Bernie's gaining momentum, it's very slow. So Biden knows, you know, he doesn't have this wrapped up yet. Bernie Sanders isn't mathematically eliminated. So if he debates Bernie Sanders, and it goes horribly wrong, it goes any way that, you know, his last interviews went, it could be bad for him. It could be enough to change the dynamic of the race. Now, I don't necessarily believe that any debate with Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders could be as catastrophic for Joe Biden as that Mike Bloomberg debate was, because, like, that was a different time in America, even though that was like a month away. Now, everyone is glued to their televisions looking for information on COVID-19. Mainstream media isn't going to talk about the Democratic Party primary. They're going to pretend as if it's over. So it's going to be harder to get everyone's attention. But still, you know, even if nothing changes, when we see this debate and Biden has another solid performance, you still have to do it because this primary isn't over. And since... The last debate and last couple of debates, things in this country and the world have changed dramatically. So, of course, you have to, you know, show people that you're still, you know, you're in tune to what they're dealing with. And if anything, Joe Biden needs more practice before going up against Donald Trump in September if he is the nominee. So, I mean, this is just going to help you. But, I mean, we all know Joe Biden is scared. His team wants to hide him away. And I'll admit, I think that's a good strategy. If I were working for Joe Biden, I never would. But if I were, I would hide him away as much as possible from the public. Because the more he's out, the more visible he is, of course, you know, the more chance that people will see him face plan or make a gaffe or say something stupid. Um, but, I mean, he wanted to be president, so... This is uh, what you have to do. Now, Bernie was asked about this in an interview with CNN. Anderson Cooper asked him what he thought about Joe Biden's, you know, disregard of the possibility of a debate. And Bernie Sanders, I think, made a really strong case for another debate. Vice President Biden was asked about whether there should be another debate in, in April. He essentially said, you know, uh, the, the time is done for, for that. Um, I'm wondering what you made of his response. Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't agree with him. I mean, I think that what is happening right now, obviously, it's a very strange moment for any campaign. And that is state after state. I think Pennsylvania yesterday or today is delaying their elections. Kentucky has delayed their elections. New York State considering delaying their uh, elections. So we've got a strange moment. But I think, you know, one of the things that I, I think the people want 
is especially in this unprecedented crisis in modern American history, is to hear the ideas of candidates as to how we got into this disaster. Why do we have such a dysfunctional health care system? Why do we have an economy in which half of our people are living paycheck to paycheck, scared to death tonight that if their paycheck ceases, uh, how they're going to feed their kids and, take, and pay the rent? So I think we need a good debate as to where we go, not only just now, but in the future. And to my mind, if there's anything that this unprecedented moment in American history should teach us, we got to rethink the basic structures of American society. And that is guarantee health care to all as a human right, create an economy that provides for all people, not just the wealthy. Yeah. I agree with Bernie Sanders. Things have changed substantially just within the span of a couple of weeks. Our lives are incredibly different now. So you have to give people the option to maybe go in a different direction. And, you know, it's not like it's a foregone conclusion that a debate is going to fundamentally reshape the dynamics of this race. A lot of people have just moved on. The media certainly has moved on. But you have to have this debate. You have two competitors. One of them is the front runner, but the other is not mathematically eliminated. So just you agree to 12 debates. Joe Biden agreed to 12 debates. So to not at least meet the bare minimum and just suck it up for two hours and have another debate. I mean, come on. For Bernie Sanders, though, he has everything to gain, nothing to lose. Joe Biden has everything to lose and nothing to gain, but it's probably not even that serious. So the fact that he doesn't want to debate Bernie Sanders, it shows what a coward he is. Look, if you can't debate Bernie Sanders, someone who's willing to be really nice to you, then you can't take on Donald Trump. And I think that he realizes that people are losing confidence in him. His six-day MIA, right? His media tours, his gaffes, the fact that he hasn't been a leader during this COVID-19 crisis. People are losing confidence in him. And so there's a lot of pressure in these debates. If he doesn't perform well, Democrats may lose even more faith in him. So he knows that there's a lot at stake. But regardless, you agree to 12, at least do 12. That's the bare minimum. Um, it's the right thing to do. It's the de democratic thing to do. And people deserve to see another debate. We've had one one-on-one -on -one debate with Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. Let's at least have one more before you try to wrap this thing up and Democratic Party elites try to wrap this thing up.